Generative AI is improving at an extraordinary rate, and it has become really difficult to keep pace with all the innovations in the AI industry. In this video, we're going to do a head-to-head -head comparison between the three top-performing AI image generation tools as of October 2023, DAL E3, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion XL. To easily figure out which tool is the best, we're going to focus on well-known weak points for generative AI, human hands, text, and repetitive patterns with a non-obvious structure, such as piano keys. Our test will be exclusively focused on the actual quality of the output, but it must be said that your choice of a particular tool will of course come down to other factors as well. While both Stable Diffusion XL and the recently launched DAL E3 are free, the latter by using Bing Image Creator, Midjourney does require a paid subscription. Also, out of these three tools, only Stable Diffusion is open source and can be run locally on users' hardware, which makes it an ideal choice for those who are focused on privacy. Having said this, we're only going to care about the best results in this video, so without further ado, let's proceed with the actual tests. For the first test, we'll ask our generative AI assistants to create pictures of a group of software developers painting a mural. What we're actually interested in here is the ability of these tools to correctly depict the shape and even the correct number of fingers when creating human hands. Just recently launched, DALI 3 is currently available for free using the Microsoft Bing Image Creator tool. As was somewhat to be expected, DALI 3 produced a group of stereotypical hipster millennials in jeans, with brushes in their hands and smiles on their faces. The images look decent from afar, but when you zoom in, you can clearly see the errors and inconsistencies. Not only do the people depicted have deformed hands, but their faces are twisted into shapes better suited for low-budget horror movies. As if by knowing its limitation, Midjourney initially produced zoomed-out cartoon drawings, so we had to do a bit of prompting. But the final result, in line with what we had asked for, still suffered from the problem of distorted hands and faces. For testing Stable Diffusion XL, we've used a tool called Focus, spelled with three O's, which requires a simple installation process and has a very clean and simple graphical user interface. If you're interested in using Stable Diffusion locally on your PC, you can find a useful guide for installing Focus in the video description. Stable Diffusion seems to have struggled with the notion of a mural, which, by the way, is a large image applied directly to a wall or ceiling. Only one of the generated pictures actually depicts people who are painting a wall, and these two men are seemingly holding hands and look less interested in art and more interested in one another. As expected by now, the hands and faces are not great. For the second test, let's see what we get when we ask for a cat astronaut playing the piano. None of the three generative AI tools managed to get it right when it comes to how the keys on an actual piano look like specifically the fact that the smaller black keys are arranged in a repeating pattern of groups of two and three across the keyboard. However, stable diffusion performed the worst leaving out the astronaut part almost entirely. In only one of the four generated pictures did the cat display some accessories that could be associated with traveling into space. In order to see how well these three AI tools perform with tasks that involve generating text, let's ask them to depict an underwater tea party and include a happy birthday banner. DAL-E3 got the text right for just one of the three images it generated. However, in the picture with the correct text, we couldn't help notice some very strange artifacts. A tentacle snail, a rather awkward symbiosis, and this unknown and unexplainable object. These weird artifacts illustrate that the current generation of AI tools are still prone to hallucinations, both textual and visual. Not only did the mid-journey results fail to include the required text banner, 
but the overall quality of the pictures was inferior to DALL-E 3. The quality of the images generated by stable diffusion was even poorer, and the request for a text banner was ignored completely. Based on the tests we've carried out so far, DALL-E 3 seems to be the winner. If you need to quickly generate an image without doing too much prompting, Bing Image Creator might be your best bet. It's free and produces great results, but it does have daily limits. And speaking of prompting, DALL-E 3 might just very well bring the end of prompts. We've used the Bing Image Creator in this video, but the DALL-E 3 model is also available under Bing Chat, where you can use subsequent commands to adjust the initial results. However, we've noticed the quality of text degrade with each new iteration. Therefore, you might need to spend some time tweaking your instructions in order to produce the best possible results. Ultimately, your choice of tools comes down to personal circumstances. Whether you're willing to pay a monthly subscription, the amount of images you need to generate, and how quickly you need them, and also how concerned you are about privacy and keeping your data local. However, we do hope that this video has been useful to you. If so, please like and consider subscribing for more AI-related content.